structure is the fiber not the structure is the and then you identify the wing which is called That's the femur. Yep. You almost see the joints being done. <laughs> Then you look for hyperechoic structure, which is white, but it's speculated. So you see those uh, speculated things. Is it quite ill-defined on that image? It is ill-defined. So how do we get it defined? Just using a little bit of tricks. Yeah, this, you know, adjust your yeah. tilt. Adjust your tilt. Get the right depth first. Okay. Scan proximal distally to see where we can get the best uh, view of the nerves. Then I know. At so that level, I try and tell that's the best picture I can get for the time being. And obviously, if you put a bit of local anesthetic, then the nerves show up quite remarkably bright and white. Are yeah, you going to put your needle into it? So, I'm going to define where the muscles are so I know the muscle planes. Yeah. So, this is your psoas muscle. Yeah. You see that circular one? Mm -hmm. And your iliacus. Mm -hmm. Joined together from the as well. Yes. You see that fascia layer, it's a clear yes. fascia layer running on top of the layer, but also it's investing underneath yeah. the femoral nerve. So Sometimes that's why when you do the fascia in the anchor, say, if I go in, pop in, pop through the sarcoids, pop through the fascia in the anchor, and that was the local anesthetic. Not always you see the local anesthetic spreading towards the femoral nerve. Uh, so, which, 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 is, which makes us think that femoral nerve is enclosed in another fascia compartment. So, when we do the femoral nerve block, we try and pull through these fascias. Yeah. And then, when we inject, we see the spread around the femoral nerve or around within a pocket. It doesn't spread out along the iliacus. It just spreads within the spot. Are you aiming to go inferiorly to the... Uh, what I'm aiming to go is get into that corner, yep. and then give a little bit of local anesthetic, open up the space, and you can either infiltrate it under the arm or above the arm. And is that, is that an artifact there? That is an artifact that's wow. an acoustic enhancement. Yeah. That's very typically seen in the family of artery. But if you see any sort of uh, artifacts within the artery, then you have to be really suspicious that the patient has got a plague or some sort of femoral obstruction. Then you look at a different plane, you look at you look at in the cross section plane, if you still see that it's a bit of a, a plague like appearance, then you can put color doppler and you will see that the flow is a bit turbulent and it goes all around. Yeah. Then you have to refer to a vascular surgeon. We we are making up quite a lot of vascular uh, problems with the femoral. So that's the femoral nerve. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Where the, your needle will be here. Yeah. The needle will come from lateral to medial. So you insert it. So you you will be passing through maybe a bit of sartorius, and then insert through the fascia iliaca, and then you don't go through into the nerve, but you just stop there, open up the space, and look for assistance, and then you infiltrate. Do you use a nervous meter or? You can use. There's no problem. I don't use. 
But there is an argument saying that nerve stimulators can rule out intraneural injection. Say that if you're if you are on 0.2 milliamps and if you're still getting uh, say twitches, that means probably you're intraneural. But that's very uh, arguable. Mm. But uh, with with uh, injection, you can get the feel of it. And you're doing it in awake patients, so you know that there is a amount of paresthesia the patients can tell you. And also the resistance, we, we know that we are not in general because that would be high resistance to injection. We can do it, yes. But what's your normal practice? You do it My, I do it uh, awake, but saying that I also do it after spinal anesthesia where the sensory yeah. component is off. Yeah. But uh, I trust what I see, yeah. and I also have the trust in the resistance as an indicator for intraneural injections. If I feel it's a bit of resistance, then I don't inject. I pull my knee back and then open up the space and then inject. So I trust the resistance and the visual spread a lot. Yeah. So if you look for the lateral cutaneous nerve at the same level, if you move your probe laterally, then you see the iliacus muscle. Yeah? Yeah. So that's your fascia iliaca, yeah? Mm -hmm. so that's your over here. It's got this pear shape appearance there. And above that, you will see a small little compartment. This is the compartment through which the lateral pitness comes out. Right. So you remember seeing on the camera, you saw the sartorius, and there is a small tunnel above the sartorius through which the lateral pitness layer was coming out. Yeah. So basically this is a tunnel, uh, in, in him it is between the sartorius and the tensor fascia lata. There is a small gap in between where the tunnel is there, but you, you can have a tunnel above the sartorius as well. What's that as well? That is your rectus femoris, the origin of the rectus femoris. As you go lower down, it becomes bigger. Because it's, it's, it's smaller than, it's really small, that's where it is orders in front. You see that one? That's coming through the small. As you go higher up, higher up. You can keep your probe relaxed, you can see the left bit This looks uh, quite. Uh Good picture. Uh, is it uh, usually obvious like that? Or, uh, you mean the lateral pitness? Yeah, yeah. It is much more obvious than that. Right? Yeah. You can almost see it quite uh, distinctly white uh, hyperechoic. And is that uh, on the base? Yeah. Yes, yes. Wow. <coughs> But you need very little local anesthetic to actually block it. It's uh, very much a sensory nerve. It's a very small nerve, even about 2 3 mils would just block the lateral pitness the most time. Very thin. We saw it. Very, very small. Very small. Okay. <laughs> the surface is not me yet. Yeah. Just below the uh, ligament. Below the ligament. So that's why we had like one centimeter below the ligament. You put a subcutaneous infiltration and you get the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. Okay. And people do for chronic pain blocks as well. You get myalgia for aesthetic where it gets entrapped within the compartment, the lateral cutaneous nerve, under the lateral ligament. So you can put a bit of steroid on the back side for pain around the lateral side as well. Yeah. So that's the femoral and the lateral cutaneous nerve, the two main branches. Yeah. Uh, that we are interested in as far as surgical yeah. pain relief.